spreading spreading the, the juice around. It's just gross. And, you know, these dudes, and it wasn't just like, you know, running in and like, you know, going to the, the urinal or something. They come out of the freaking stall and just beeline. It's just like, this is just... And it literally had an impact. Like, there was a budgetary cost to the entire operation for all of Amazon Game Studios. That still continues. Because these couple dudes just never wash their damn hands after they go to the restroom. And it's... It would actually, I think, they could pay somebody to sit in the damn restroom and just, you know, with a little towel and whatever and be a restroom attendant and just make sure people wash their hands. And we would come up cash positive. On hiring that guy because of how gross most people are in their day-to-day -day life so don't don't trust gameplay engineers to wash their hands that's 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 my message of that story also people are gross and disgusting Ugh. Ugh. Alright, so what about this ceiling friction shit? Alright, so if our new velocity dot z is zero, uh, greater than zero, we're going to need actual dt, right? Like, we just computed that, so we're going to multiply our dt by this, and we're also going to want to multiply this by the... Like, if you're hitting the wall... Yeah, <laughs> I need a drink, yeah. I think everybody needs a drink after that one. Uh, and that's not even the worst. Freaking at EA 2D, um, we had some actual kind of gross programmers. One dude would, he would, as we were on the QA floor for EA 2D, we were kind of not the not in the best environment. And the QA floor's bathroom was just, there were times, like, these, these QA, QA dudes normally don't eat very well. And, or at least, at least one of them doesn't eat very well. And you'd know it. But, but one of the engineers would go into the restroom with his laptop and he'd just be sitting on, you know, toilet, typing away on his laptop. Just just coding stuff out just while he's sitting there. And you're just like, dude, do you ever wash your laptop? He's like, no. It's just like, stay the hell away from me, buddy. And they had a freaking scooter, like a Razor scooter, the designers did, that they would always ride to the bathroom. And you're just like, dude, why are you taking the fucking bathroom scooter somewhere? And, like, <laughs> I guarantee you that's the dirtiest thing in the entire freaking office is that damn Razor scooter that you guys all take to the bathroom. Anyway, we need to multiply this by the... Like, if the normal of the surface you're jumping against is, um, the Z of that is zero, then we want to apply more friction than if you're, like, jumping and, like, gliding along. And if you're gliding along it, we pretty much want a zero. So we're going to, like, um, let, let me think. The, the Z is zero here. The Z is, we want to take the absolute value of the Z, and we want to take the inverse of it. So if, if the slope is anything then we don't want to do much, so it's just, uh... Yeah, so it's just going to be the fmath abs of the normal z, so that's going to be the... We got the collision normal? Where are you? Where are you, collision normal, man? The motion direction is going to be the surface normal? Where is new collision normal?
Yeah, so we need to move new collision normal outside of the loop is what it looks like. We need to set it right here to um, surface normal. And then we want to do like if the new collision normal is Well, we want the collision normal for the thing that we swept to, right? So it's going to be new collision normal anyway. So we don't actually give a shit about any of this crap. So that Z, and we're going to subtract 1 minus it. So it's going to be 1.0 minus the Z. So if our z is 1, or negative 1, we have a 0. And it's a normalized vector, so we should always have a good one. So it's just new velocity dot z. Uh, minus equals the stuff. And if we are right up against, let's just... Let's just do that. So it's new velocity dot z, yeah dot z, and we're actually going to do like float friction, friction vel equals this whole thing, and if so, we're going to do my minus equal friction vel, and if new velocity dot z is less than zero. We're going to clamp it at zero. So that should be that. And we're going to print that out real quick because I want to see exactly. So um, friction is reducing our C velocity by percent of friction. Let's see. I don't know if there are any other gross bathroom stories from the game industry. Syntax error. Where is the syntax error? Like, okay, that's what's that? What? Why are you pissed off? I think it's that. Oh, I'm yawning? Yeah, well, I have been working for <laughs> over 10 hours here. And I had been doing stuff before that. Like, I got up. I got up at like 2 in the morning over here, some crap. So I've been up for, for you know, almost 12 hours. Well, just look at that, that uptime. That's, that's how long I've been streaming work. And before that, I had a call with Adam. And we're fixing other shit, so like I've been I've been going I've been going for a while though. We've been doing some work. You know, we've been doing the dashkin. Alright, so it's not quite that much. Let's see, our moon velocity mag two comps are the DT is blah. What is this? I don't see this anywhere. Friction is reducing our z-velocity. Let's take a look at what this is. Yeah, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything! Why not? Why is it all broken? What the hell is going on here? Because this only happens if we are doing the thing. Otherwise, we're not doing anything. So, okay, cool. So, basically what's happening is we're, we're, we're early outing here. Uh, 
after doing our sweep out and all that crap. So what we need to do is right here we need to do the same thing. So we're just going to copy paste it because all that crap. And it's just going to be extra delta T times all that bullshit. So we're good. <laughs> Very good. Now, I, my excuse for having such odd hours is I blame it all on Adam because he's an Australian. We work on uh, hopefully similar schedules to each other. Which is actually completely false. I, I work in just ridiculous schedules. And all that. Hey, Ishu, for donating $5. That is, that is very much appreciated, sir. Thank you for taking, taking the time to, to do so. As usual, we will be, we'll be throwing all of that towards all the awesome things that we do here and most notably the biggest expense for us is going to be for Dashkin is going to be music um, so pretty much anything that gets donated and things like that that is going towards making stuff awesome so thank you very much sir I appreciate your support And that's not very much of a negation. You deserve it, man. 10 hour stream. Keep it up. Alright. Well, thank you. We intend to do so. So, Z friction. DT is real, real small. So, we'll see what that is. Yeah, you staying up three days straight, sleeping only four hours? Yeah, that can do it, man. That doesn't sound too healthy, Nightfall. All right, let's let's keep doing this. Let's keep let's fix let's fix this, this gravity simulation. All right. Trace tag dash. Oh wow! Look at that. Just I don't. I don't think the uh, the negation is working. <laughs> Friction is reducing our velocity by a negative forty nine. Oh my god! <laughs> Friction is Friction is making us go faster. See, this is what happens. This is what happens. So friction velocity um, <laughs> minus equal friction val. Yeah. So the problem is our <laughs> we need the f math. Yeah, it's we're applying friction. All right, we should. I should just get rid of this g down z. That's just dumb. It's stupid. I'm stupid. We'll just fix that. So the time simulated times this friction constant multiplied by this, and we're subtracting from it. That's just... Always full of energy. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what happens with me is my schedule is totally flipped. Like, if nothing else is going on in my life, I basically work on this like 40 hour day or something like that where I'll be up for like 26 hours or something and then I'll just crash out for 14 it's that's just if nothing else is 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 changing in my life that is what happens it's like the schedule I naturally go to oh hey look at that he's just he jumps up there he hits the wall and he's not freaking out and flying in the air too much it feels pretty good. And if you hit the edge, you can get a little bounce, but it's not too bad. 
So let's take a look at what happens when we do this. Yeah, it's like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, that's looking about right. I'm liking this. All right, let's let's give Fat Sack a little bit more juice. Let's make him go a little faster, so we can uh, kind of jump around our test level and see exactly how he's how he's how he's looking. Yeah, I know I was uh, diagnosed with ADHD when I was uh, in elementary school, so. They uh, hooked me up with all those stimulants when I was when I was like ten, taking Ritalin, Tenderman, and all sorts of other crap. And uh, kind of eventually, I grew out of it, which probably means my diagnosis was bullshit. But I kind of have that where caffeine doesn't actually make me like super excited; it'll just make me focus. Things like that. Like, I can drink a whole cup of coffee, and then I'll just, like, fall asleep. Which is one of the things that people with that sort of that sort of stuff have. Yeah, look at that. Fat sack just jumping on all the things. And he can run up walls, because he's just awesome. <laughs> no. So it looks like we can run up the left side of walls, but not the right side of walls. Is that? Yeah, the right side's real slow. And then the left side, you can just. Shoo. And see, like, we can't mantle over this, but we can jump. Oh, we can jump on things. The sim time is less than G min physics sim time. So what happened to us? What did we do? Oh, we must have... What was it? Well, let's just make sure that, like... Sim time equals delta t. Okay, so it looks like we landed on something, and that triggered a basic check to go off. Excellent. So... I was just landing on the floor, so in our landable thing, um, we can actually return a smaller value. So basically, we landed immediately. Um, so we're gonna. I think we're gonna be okay with that. That's not. That's not bad. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So let's take a look at um, why our when we hit a vertical slope, why we run up it. Um, well, it's basically that we're moving normal to the surface, and we're adding in some other extra velocity, so like when we're running to the left, it's doing weird stuff. When we run to the right, it's not. Alright, well, 
Let's take a look. I'll just fix the walls, and I think I'm done for today. Probably go head over, say hi to the parents, go for a walk in the park, play some Battle Bros. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to do for the rest of the day? It's freaking Tuesday, and that means it's a weekend, because... I'm self-employed, so every day is a week. So I don't care about nothing. So we're going to be taking a look at these logs. So we're jump, 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 jump. And get over to our test area. And then we're going to see exactly what's going on. So we're going to run over here and jump up to the left. And... See what happened. So, on iteration 2236, the DT was 5 milliseconds. The movement velocity was um, negative 10. And the Z? What the frick? Movement comps are negative 49, and such movement magnitude is that. Um, right. Wait, the movement velocity was some crazy number? Yeah, it's new velocity dot z. So we were traveling negative in like negative ten thousand, but we were moving up the wall. So it's basically like if. Um, I'm guessing new motion direction dot z was a zero or something like that, right? And if our new motion direction z is zero, then we're actually not doing it right. Because there's, with floating point values, um, there's actually a positive zero and a negative zero that's actually thing that exists so you can get the sign of negative zero and it's negative one so maybe we should change this to if um, new velocity is yeah if um, new motion direction dot z is equal to zero then and new velocity that Z is greater than zero. No, 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 it's something else. Actually, printing out the new motion direction. New motion direction is. Yeah, so it's. The new motion direction is in the positive. It's a positive Z, is what we're getting. And we're supposedly going negative along the motion direction with our Z. So that's why we have a negative. Wait, no, our Z flipped it. Our Z flipped the new motion direction into a positive Z. Well, so what exactly should we do about this?
So the sign of our, so it doesn't match. So Z component is saying we should be moving in the negative direction even though the motion, is this true? Let's just think about this for a very short period of time. Our new motion direction is, our new velocity is negative. Oh yeah, I've got four monitors. I've got two 25, 60 by 1600, 30-inch HP um, ZR30Ws, and then I've got two 1920 by like 1080 uh, smaller monitors on each side of me. So four monitors. Which is not as many as I used to have. Like when I was doing server work at Amazon, I had like you know five or six monitors, and before that, it was always like six monitors is what I really needed. Because when you're doing server work, um, you need like tons of real estate. Because you know, it'll be like production's over here and playtest is over there, and you know, all this other stuff, and you're just figuring out like, okay, well the message bus is going fine, um, the front end load balancer is good, um, this is. This database is screwed up. Okay. Um, so you just needed them. Um, and like EA2D, I had different laptops for different versions of the game. So this is like this is what's live in production because you get you get paged on call, right? And you turn to the production laptop, um, which had production code on it, and you just open it up, turn it on, and debug code. Versus like then you just like turn back to your main workstation and then keep working on mainline. So a lot of this stuff is very necessary. Uh, what I'm running right now Yeah, it's just, uh, uh, core i7-5960, uh, CPU at 3 gigahertz. I only got 32 gigs of, of stuff, but, um, you know, like, got plenty of logical cores to do all the bullshit all the time, so, plenty of good stuff. I guess the main thing would be like, what kind of graphics card am I running? And I got two 980 GTX Ti's. All right, so our our signs don't match. Our velocity is negative, and our that means our direction of motion is positive. So, how does it make sense that our direction of motion is positive? and our velocity is negative, that this is another one of those where I'm being a moron, and what I should be doing is, again, doing the absolute value of the velocities um, for these guys. So I should just be saying this, the absolute value of the velocity z here, because I want to subtract it. It should be negative. That's true. Um, but this also begs the question, it, two, po two negatives would always make a positive, and two negatives would always make a positive. So if the signs didn't match, it would be negative. And I'm saying, like, well, if the signs match, make it positive. If the signs don't match, make it negative. Which is just stupid. What I should be doing is just multiplying the damn numbers together. You know, because then it would always work. Anyway, let's just see if the basic premise here is correct. Then we'll go back to third grade math and relearn how to do our multiplication tables because I obviously failed third grade. My third grade was tough, right? Like, you had to do the times tables, you had to, like, learn the state capitals and state flowers and all that. Like, that was rough. I was like, shit, I don't know what the state flower of a frickin' Maine is. I don't know, probably a rose? I have no idea.
You had to help open the table? Nice. We're just going back to third grade math here. Let's see, dt was that, movement velocity is such, movement magnitude, movement direction is such. We moved along with no collision on the sweep. What is this? Friction is reducing our z velocity by 49. So the movement velocity is, we have positive z. I'll have to take another look at this. The movement velocity is, and we'll just end it right there. We're holding to the right. So the movement velocity is, the movement velocity was going to zero. very slowly so why don't we see if we continued to play there if we had a we're actually gonna have a problem or not so movement velocity is all right um, Looks like our DT is 5, 5, 5, all this sort of stuff. Um, so it's getting smaller, it's getting smaller, it's getting smaller, and then... We have moved along. And then it resets our position, sweep direction. So... We're actually snapping to the floor. After a while. Because we got update snap to floor. After sweep we are in the air as ground is too far beneath us. And then our... So basically we're hitting the ground and then we're going into the air real quick. The question is, why are we hitting the... Why are we going on the ground? So it's landable, I think, down here. And it's like on iteration blah, we landed on something solid. Why are we getting onto the ground, though? Uh, it must be something up here, right? Um, PS on ground. Yeah, so if can land. So new velocity dot z is less than zero, and surface normal dot z is greater than zero. then can land is true. So, the surface normal dot z is greater than zero. So, interesting. Let's just print this out real quick.
So yeah, our velocity went to zero, and then we were able to land because we weren't moving up anymore. So we are we are now landing as our velocity is negative and our surface normal is such. Let's see what it says for our surface normal. After sweep, we are we are now landing. Our velocity is negative, and our surface normal is zero, negative one, zero. So our surface normal is negative one. Um, we are going to have to say that our normal is greater than zero. So. But we did say new velocity dot z the surface normal has to be greater than zero for us to land. Alright, well then we'll just have to set it equal to something smaller. Um, so what is it? Surface normal z is gonna be landable surface normal. Let's see, we have landable down here, and that's new collision normal and we're gonna have like a normal like landable G landable normal and we're gonna have like at least a uh, you know like a point zero zero one F or some crap static float landable normal Z So it's going to have to be greater than that. So that should make it so we don't climb up those slopes. Those nearly vertical, well, those actual vertical walls. And that's what I'm talking about with floating point math being stupid. You know, there's a check in there like, hey, is the surface normal greater than zero? And then the surface normal is literally zero. And it's like, yeah, zero is greater than zero. Yeah, no problem. It's great. Math. It's probably because instead of getting set to zero, it got set to positive zero. And it's like, oh, well, positive zero is greater than zero. It's like, ah, stupid positive and negative zero. Which is why all this ray casting crap is all those nudges and all the rest of it. At some point it'd be nice if instead of having an analog floating point, it was like a digital floating point, like a, a fixed width um, a fixed width floats sort of implementation where your calculation would always return the same imprecise crap, but it would at least be identical. So you can always set it properly. Which is like what they did with like phones and the rest there, where you got like fixed point notation for your floats, because like the the actual CPUs can't handle floating point, so you'd be doing all your math with fixed width. I mean fixed point notation. Where you have a fixed decimal point on your things. So tree stag dash. 
jumping. It's looking about right. So I think the other thing that we need here is that that velocity, if you can see it there, basically when we go into the air, our y velocity is being preserved. Like we have a y velocity against the wall, and that y velocity is, we're heading off at a straight angle there because we like reached our maximum y velocity. So what we want to do is we also want to have a y velocity friction value um, when we're against it and it's going to be slowing us down in the y direction if we're hitting a wall. So we're going to do the same thing with, that we did with the z axis and we're going to do that with the, uh, the y. And then, and then I think our motion is complete and I'll actually ask Adam what we want to do with you know, like, hanging onto the walls. Like, if we want, you know, Mighty to do Mega Man-style motion, because if he just, like, collides with the wall and he, like, kind of, you know, slides up it, maybe that's good enough, because then he could do, like, a, a jump off of it. And we don't need him, you know, doing Mega Man-style sliding too much. Oh, we'll see. Though I do have a question, and that is if, if I just jump, I need to set gravity real low to see um, if my hunch here is right. But I think our, um, I think we have a problem where our y direction, our y motion, is making us travel normal. So we actually like hit a wall, and then we tr we actually go down faster than we should. And we go up faster than we should. So I should probably put a check in there, like, if you're greater than a... If your slope is greater than a certain amount, then we shouldn't take your Y in there and make you go down or up the surface faster. Oh, Jesus. He's still going. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Doesn't look like the Y is all sorts of screwed up. Just looks like a normal friction's working. Looks like maybe our friction is... Are we not applying friction if um, we're not colliding with anything? Because we've got our friction on this. And our friction is reducing our velocity, so we have like friction bell. So 
So we're only, yeah, we're only doing our friction velocity based on this stuff, but we need to actually do like, if we don't land, then we're going to need to also do our friction velocity um, initially, so our... Um, And we're not applying friction for our initial contact, which we need to do, um, which is going to be our surface normal Z here. This is going to be sub delta T. And um, that'll be our friction bell sort of thing going on there. And we'll throw it in a scope real quick, just because. And if we don't collide with anything when we do our sweep, so we're in the air, we don't collide with anything. On iteration zero, the velocity is such. So that's okay, that should look fine. And this is setting our, our Z velocity to zero when we're getting friction on the ground. So what we'd expect here real quick is that We should probably do the same thing that we were doing earlier, which is call our LERP function on this thing. Hmm, maybe not. Because we want friction to go both ways, right? If you're going down, it should slow you down, and if you're going otherwise, it should and it should also depend on the speed that you're going, right? So if you're going faster, it should slow you down faster? So you'd like... Well, let's at least do, like, if new velocity... Eh. Let's screw it. Let's just apply friction here and just see what that looks like. I don't want to copy paste a whole billion things around just because of reasons. Because if I start messing with this friction function I need to change it in all three places and I don't want to do that. Let's just see if this applies friction a little bit better than it was. And I would imagine this is actually going to make us move really slowly in the Z direction because Gravity is going to be pulling this down, and this is going to say, oh, if you're going negative, then don't go any more negative. New velocity is zeros. Are we setting our current velocity anywhere here? So, like, new velocity, new velocity, new velocity, and at the end of this, we set our current velocity. Uh, yes, so we are. We're good. Ah, Jesus. Freaking... Fat sack, gravity controls have gone haywire. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've been I've been working on programming for quite a while. Like you know, if you count college, that'd be twelve years. And it's been a lot. It's been a dense 12 years. I've been just working on programming for a long goddamn time. It's just a, it's just a, like anything, you know, somebody who practices Kung Fu is going to make everybody feel dumb. So yeah, that's our friction on our wall doing what you would expect it to do with our crappy algorithm. Because um, basically what's happening is our velocity is going to zero, and then that's allowing us to fall. 
Otherwise, that friction is setting our velocity to zero. And that's not what we want to do. Um, we want to slow, us, slow ourselves down. Um, and not just fall like that. So, let's just switch our friction shit up to do what we want it to do. Real quick. And we're going to copy pasta the hell out of it. Because we're cool like that. We are going to say surface normal dot z, and we're going to say if new velocity dot z is less than zero, else, and if new velocity dot z is, is zero, we're going to say new velocity plus equals friction velocity, or we could be smarter because we're actually going to. Yeah, the hell with it. I don't give a shit. So it's less than zero, we're going to add it. And then if we overshoot, like if new velocity is now greater than zero, we're just going to say new velocity is zero. Otherwise, we're just going to add it, and then if it's less than zero, we just do this. So, blah. So, to hell with all this crap. Uh, and we'll just copy-paste this totally horrible-ass code all over the place here. This is going to be new collision normal, and we'll we'll throw all this crap into a function probably next time we're working on all this stuff. New velocity is greater than zero. No, we're just gonna friction works. Friction does friction things. End of freaking story. <laughs> the tiny and what is our where is the damn crap we just copy paste alright so it shouldn't be sub delta t here what was it before it was extra delta t All right, so now we shouldn't, um... What the hell should we do? Um, we wouldn't be able to... Yeah. It should just slow us down. It shouldn't just set us to zero, it should actually slow down our movement. Show, so, show, yes. Show we should. So slow to a stop. This is what should happen when we uh, jump on a wall. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Excellent. So I think we've got our character moving basically how we want him to move. And we got some controls to change how that happens. So um, we could change like some friction stuff. We can get states like we can actually figure out like, oh, he's not moving and he's on a wall. So we could do some wall jumps and some other crap. And all the rest of this, like, gravity and tuning and all the rest is not a problem to mess with. That just kind of works. So we got our guy, he's like, he hits his head on the wall, but if we hit our head and we're moving to the right a little bit, we can, you know, we can do stuff. Let's see, we kind of, we kind of immediately go to maximum speed when we hit the ground, so that's why some of these, some of these things are a little bit long. The friction is like super high on these uh, on these walls, which is why we're having having issues with the walls. Actually, um, it's not the friction super high; it's that friction always affects us in the same way. So, what we actually want to do here is we want to add that um, very very quick 
and dirty thing where we just do the um we want to multiply by the velocity z um, so as velocity z goes to zero so does our friction right so we're not gonna we're not gonna be if we're not moving we don't have friction if we are moving we got more friction and it's kind of exponential so no problem not a problem right this is no problem And the other thing is I really have no idea. I, I have never done platforming motion um, for any of my games. So I'm just, I'm screwing around and learning this stuff as we go. So somebody else will probably look at this and go, ha, ha, what the hell are you doing? You're doing a whole bunch of bullshit. You could just save all yourself this time if you read this manual from 1982. It's called Mario Learns to Jump. And you are a moron for not knowing about the existence of this man. And yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of fr friction. Jesus. All right, so friction, friction is a big damn deal now. So we've got to minimize that. Let's see, what is our friction? Is yeah, our ceiling friction is ten thousand. So we're gonna do it. Um, Let's just see if a thousand. We'll just change it by orders of magnitude till it disappears, and do like kind of a binary search from there to kind of hone in on a value that doesn't feel like complete crap. And um, yeah, we'll also change that um, gravity vector back to what it should be. It's looking like yeah, eleven hours is around the time that we'll be have been doing streaming today. And I'm feeling pretty good though. I'm not feeling super super worn out or anything, so. So I'll probably be back streaming some games later today. Just to relax and have some fun. And keep getting those uh those Twitch counts higher. Because you need to get more more ups on the Twitch counts. That's still just way too freaking high. Who knows? Who knows? I like how we've got that ticker going down there with like donations and it's just issue, issue, issue. <laughs> People start to think I'm just donating to myself just to have something down there. <laughs> I was like, um, one, of the, one of the really funny things with uh, the previous Dashkin game was some guy accused Adam of not being a real person that he had run his his Kickstarter uh, just to like rip everyone off and he had like taken the money and just Sean wasn't a real person and that you know there, there never was a game and like all this other stuff oh I am an idiot like the friction is going to be, it's because we're multiplying by the actual velocity, right? So it's actually, yeah, I'm dumb. Uh, it, it can't be greater than, than one, right? Because if it's one, it immediately...